Today I'm taking a look at hydro dipping or water transfer painting of objects made out of PLA. What you do is you take a bin of water and then dip the object after floating paint on it. Coming up we've got a Nano DLP conversion of the Duplicator 7 resin printer using a Raspberry Pi. A UV conversion for a nail curing bed over to an always on UV cure. And a quick look at another hydro dipping process with just a flat orange paint instead of the chrome paint I'm going to use in this one. If you'd like, subscribe down below if any of that sounds interesting. And if I screwed up anything with this or you've got any comments, please leave them in the comments down below. I always enjoy being corrected if something wasn't quite right or the process could be better. I'd like to try something else, so please let me know. And now let's take a look at hydro dipping with Chrome on PLA. Hi, and welcome back to the workbench. I'm actually doing a set of videos on post-processing 3D printed plastics. This is the first one. It's on hydro painting. I'm going to use this PLA example. It's a stand for the Wonder Swan. And I intend to do some hydro painting on it. So what I'm going to do is single color, a chrome, metallic. and. I'm not sure this is actually going to work, but we'll try this one first and see what happens and then take it from there. So hydro painting is when you float the paint on at water and then dip your object in the paint to give it a nice even coating on there. One of the things I hadn't actually seen online anywhere, I looked a little bit to see if I could find it, was a single color hydro painting instead of the usual melange of colors for a tie-dye effect, which isn't what I want at all with this. What I'd like to do with it is give it a single color coat and then uh, paint or stamp on the front so that it's got a separate color for the front of the lettering. I think that'll give it a nice effect. Maybe use black or a high gloss black ink or paint for the front there and then just the chromed for the entirety of the rest of it. So what I'm going to do is uh, pour some water in the bowl. I've got some spare over on the side in case this isn't quite enough. No, that seems to be just about right. Excellent. And then, since I completely forgot, I'm going to put this to the side and post-process the print a little bit. Just remove the rough edges. These are super useful and cheap. They're just for removing burrs. It's a deburring tool. This one came with, I think, 10 tips. The cutting edges for... Uh, yeah, about probably five six bucks shipped and it's good for just knocking off the edge there are some nicer ends for these two instead of the ball end although it works well for this application but for other applications there's different tips for these and um, they're generally eh, they were a bit more expensive when I looked last for any of the other types I, I guess those are just super common and cheap and that should be good there and possibly this time, since it's my first time doing this, I'm going to rough it up a little bit with some sandpaper. So, one second on that. And for this reason, Krylon Silver Metallic Max Cover Max Ultimate Coverage. None of that probably makes a difference, but. It's a decent paint anyway, and it's chrome colored, so checks both those boxes. And for this I've got the box filter fan to filter out the paint, and then a mask to wear while I'm actually doing the painting, so shouldn't be too bad.
All right, so as you can see, hydroforming on PLA. Uh, there may be some pre-processing I can do to make that better, but uh, for now, I think I'm gonna toss that up in the loss column. I think what I'm gonna end up doing with these is probably just uh, seeing if I can sandblast them. Well, not sand, media blast them, possibly with uh, baking soda. If that's a light enough substance to clear off the clear off the irregularities or make it more irregular so that the surface looks good and then just hit it with paint normally so I think we can put this one down in the failure column the hydro painting with PLA at least the way I just did it which is the way I've seen it done online and with this paint so I may return to it and try painting it with a regular paint rather than the chrome so until next time Thanks for watching.